Hello, my name is Chris Jackson from ActionQA.com. I'm going to show you how to install Nightwatch and the web drivers. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up Nightwatch using Node's Package Manager, create a reusable installation via package.json, and then generate a config file so you can start adding tests. To start off, you will need to install Node on your system. Go to this website, nodejs.org, and find a download for your operating system right here. Click this and follow the instructions. After downloading Node, you'll want to find out if you have Node properly installed. You're going to want to launch your command shell. For Windows, you hit the window key and then type in CMD to get your command prompt. If you are on Mac, you will type uh, terminal to find your terminal application. So here I'm going to go to uh, my documents directory. doesn't really matter at this point, but then you're going to type in node dash dash version. And there you go. I got version 12.16.1 on my system. So you should have something similar on your system. Now that node is installed, that gives us access to a handy tool called the Node Package Manager, or NPM for short. There we go, we got NPM right there. And what NPM does for us is it allows us to download packages such as Nightwatch down to our system. So if we wanted to, we could just install Nightwatch by going NPM install dash G Nightwatch. I'm not going to hit enter on this because I want you to see that this is going to be using the dash G command and that means global. This will install Nightwatch globally on your machine. We do not want to do this though. Instead, we're going to create a package.json file that will manage all of our installs. That way, if we want to share this one out or put it up to uh, Git or have our continuous integration systems run test automation for us, we can install reinstall everything we need from this package.json file. It manages all your different downloads. In order to create a package.json file, you're going to have to call npm init. But first, I'm going to make a directory here for where we're going to hold the test. So I'll just call this uh, my YouTube Nightwatch. You can call it whatever you want. Does not matter. And then I'll CD to YouTube Nightwatch. Now I'm going to call npm init dash y. And I'm putting dash y here. If I didn't put this dash y here, it would ask you all of these different types of questions that you really don't need to answer for these purposes. If you're creating a reusable package to be deployed out on uh, that node package manager, you would pay more attention here. But this one's just going to create a bare bones package.json for us. And dash Y just means that it will accept all the defaults. So let's try it out. There we go. It just kind of echoed out right here, everything that's created. And if we'll do a little search right here, we got our package.json file. Let me go up, I got Visual Studio Code installed. Let's open this up and see what that package.json file looks like. There we go. Not much here. Perfect. We have our package.json file created. Now we're gonna to want to install Nightwatch. npm install Nightwatch. There's another little command here you'd also want to use, dash dash save dash dev. This is a special way of saving different things to your package.json file. I'm not going to go into all the details here, but usually uh, in my company or wherever, I always use save dev. And that makes it kind of an optional dependency. Uh, don't worry about any of this though. I just always use save dev. 
you would use something different if you were going to have a buildable package, like you're deploying a web component to your company. But usually your uh, test automation, you, you're you not going to build and deploy into your website for customers to consume. <laughs> so save dev is fine here. So let's try this out and see what happens. npm install nightwatch save dev. And there we go. Let's see what our package.json file looks like now. And if you look down here, dev dependencies, that's where we did the save dev part, Nightwatch, and it has the version of Nightwatch 1.3.6 right here. Where Nightwatch is installed now is under something called your node modules. Everything that you install with NPM is under our node modules. And if you go dot bin and then nightwatch dot here and you go dash dash version. There you go. Version 1.3.6 and gives you some other information about nightwatch, even though typing node underscore modules is kind of a pain. Another way you can do this is use a shortcut NPX, which let, lets you install anything you've installed. Or, sorry, lets you run anything that you have installed. So npx nightwatch dash dash version. There you go, same thing. But you're not finished here. Uh, you need web drivers for nightwatch to actually work. Nightwatch is basically a wrapper around Selenium. And a lot of the browsers now have their own web drivers that encompass all the Selenium stuff for you. So we're going to install a uh, Chrome driver and we're going to install uh, the Gecko driver, which works with for Firefox. So just like we did with Nightwatch, we're going to go npm install Chrome driver dash dash save dev. There you go. And npm install gecko driver dash dash save dev. Voila. Go back to our package.json we have right here and you'll see Chrome driver, gecko driver, and Nightwatch. And these are the basics you need to do basic testing with uh, Chrome driver, Gecko driver, and Nightwatch. Um, if you're trying to do stuff with uh, Safari, uh, the Safari web driver is already built in to Mac, so you don't need to download it separately. It's handled by the Mac operating system, OS X. Internet Explorer 11, you can also download drivers for that. I think Edge also has its own drivers. But for simplicity's sake, Chrome driver, Gecko driver, and that's all we're going to worry about right now. Now that we have Nightwatch, we have our package.json. If you ever want to reinstall everything, all you have to do now is npm install right here. If you just do that without doing anything else, it's going to look at that package.json file and install everything. So it's going to look, it's like, cool, everything's there. So something to note here about the package.json is that now anyone with this file, all they have to do is run npm install and they'll get all three of these right here installed. Now the next step to get things started with Nightwatch is you will need a Nightwatch configuration file. Fortunately, Nightwatch now generates that file for you. So you can go night npx Nightwatch. And if you just do nothing right here, it's going to create a nightwatch.conf.js file for you. So let's go to here and find this nightwatch.conf.js. There's a lot of stuff here, and we'll go over all of that in the next couple of videos. But right now, 
it'll give you the defaults and right here we'll see uh, the gecko driver is the default one and then we also have chrome and it has a whole bunch of other stuff here for like setting up browser stack don't have to worry about any of this stuff right now and if you were on wanted to run selenium by itself you got that here as well so it generates this config file for you and then we can start getting in here source folders is where you want to define where your tests are and here's some other cool stuff that nightwatch does for you but that is it for this tutorial you have now installed nightwatch you have downloaded all the web drivers that you need to start testing against Firefox and Chrome. And you've also now have a reusable package .json to reinstall all the that you need to start testing with Nightwatch. Thank you for watching this video. In the next one, we will set up a simple test and show you how to set things up with this config file to run that test. I am Chris Jackson from actionqa.com. Thank you for watching.